Hey guys, Kerry Thomas Cody here, the author of Snapping Turtle. Um, first of all, I want to say thanks to Alex and Lorene for having me be a part of Whistle at Night and They Will Come. Thanks for taking a chance on me. I'm eternally grateful. I can't wait to, to write more and see what happens next. But for now, I'm going to be talking about my story, Snapping Turtle. And Snapping Turtle was conceived because I have an actual great-great-great-grandfather who was a really evil medicine man. And they said he got his powers from the water. And he was instructed that if he died, his followers go lay him in the water or bury him by the water and he would come back to life. He would resurrect himself. And he, he would get his powers from water spirits. Years, years after he had died due to backlash of his own medicine, he was given, he was given uh, an American white person funeral and they buried him in a cemetery and decades later he they relocated the graves and when they relocated his his body wasn't in there but a snapping turtle crawled out and headed towards the water and this is uh, legend this is folktale but it got my wheel spinning and I was like well what if he came back to life in 2023 what would that look like and so snapping turtle tells a story about two brothers who are delinquents, they're always trying to get, get rich quick however they can, and in this story they're grave robbing, and they, unfortunately, they rob the wrong grave, and this entity starts to haunt them, and you can kind of guess what happens next, but I'm going to read a couple paragraphs. Snapping Turtle by Carrie Thomas Cody Dust particles fill the air as beams of sunlight force their way through the trees. Two men are shoveling dirt in the woods on a hot autumn afternoon as the sun is chasing the horizon. Crunch. The shovel stabbed the earth, moving it, little by little. Do you really think there's anything in this grave worth all this work? Says one man, panting in exhaustion, while inspecting blisters on his fingers. Crunch. Well, Lucy said her dad used to take her and her brother out here all the time as kids to lay flowers on their graves. We all know who her great-great-grandfather was. The second man retorts, Crunch. Well, I hope the legends are true. Crunch. What do you think we'll find? Gold? Silver? Also, why are we wearing these stupid masks? The first man rips off a black ski mask, drenched in sweat and sighs in relief. Because we don't want anyone to know who we are. And there might be trail cams out here, idiot. Who knows, dude? Whatever we find will be more than what we have right now. He looks up to see the first man glistening in sweat and drinking water. <sighs> to hell with it. The second man rips off his balaclava. Thud. Here we go.